Hey, GED students, I had a student, Crystal, message me on the Light and Salt Learning Facebook page uh, with a quadratic equation graph. So you don't have to know uh, the language there at all, but she had a picture that looks a lot like this one and she needed to interpret it and she wasn't quite sure how. So let's go ahead and take a look. First of all, the question. Question says, the graph to the right shows the flight of a model rocket launched off of the roof of PS212 by the students in Ms. Daniel's AP physics class. Which point could represent the height of the rocket at launch? And in the example Crystal was looking at, she had to click somewhere on the graph to graph the point at launch, but um, I went ahead and used uh, our coordinate pairs in the, in the multiple choice there. Uh, and we're gonna look at it both ways, okay? So first of all, let's make sure we know what this question is asking us to do or to say. It says, which point could represent the height of the rocket at launch? Uh, you're not gonna be able to understand this question unless you understand what it means to launch. We're looking for the height of the rocket at launch. We better understand what it means to launch. So when I say I'm launching the rocket, what am I saying? That is right when it takes off. This is, this is the takeoff point. You know how they say three, two, one, launch, and then the rocket takes off. This is the beginning of the flight. So a lot of students would want to go straight to what's called the vertex or the uh, kind of like extreme point of this graph and go to here, but that's not the point at launch. That's the highest point that the model rocket reaches before it starts falling from the sky, basically. So then how can I tell the point, uh, the height at launch? Well, take a look at this entire movement of the rocket. We read a graph from left to right here. So what I see happening is this is the beginning of the rocket's flight and it moves up and up and up until it runs out of steam to move up. We've all seen this happening when we throw things up in the air and then it starts falling, 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 falling until it hits the ground. All right. So where did we take off? Where was the beginning of our flight? Well, that's way back here, that point right there. Now, how would we number that point? Well, remember that when you're doing the coordinate pair that represents a point, you start with your x value, your horizontal axis. Okay, so I'm at zero right here. This makes sense. I should be at zero. I'm at zero seconds. That's right when I take off. I have not been traveling for any time yet. That's the zero second point. And then how high am I up in the air? It looks like I'm just a little higher than 500. I'm like 500 something. Can't really tell from this graph, but looking at the multiple choice, I sure can see that. Zero, 512. Answer A is the correct answer. Okay, so let's look at some other important parts to this graph though, because you may uh, encounter something like this on the GED and they might not ask you the height at launch. What else could they ask you? So let's label this one. That's that height at launch, that's the takeoff. But you also see the vertex here. The vertex is the maximum, it's the highest we can go. So this is the highest our rocket travels. And we also see the end flight. Look how this thing just boop, drops off at zero. Why? This is uh, how long it takes me to hit the ground. This is when I hit the ground. You can see I, my rocket would hit the ground after eight seconds. See? All right. All right, if you have any questions about this skill, which is interpreting the graph of quadratic equations, um, if you have any questions about this skill, be sure to ask it in the comments or, you know, any other GED math question. I'm game. Uh, see you next time.